If you build it, they will come. Not really. You actually have to buy them and put them in there. <laughs> um, talking about aquariums. Uh, it's going to give a little overview on what you're going to need to start an aquarium and then have everything survive. You have to pick salt, salt water or fresh water. You have to decide which, which one you're going to want. Um, salt water is a little more expensive than fresh water to start um, the equipment, the startup costs. Um, you know, salt water, they're going to be a little more colorful and vibrant. Fresh water aren't as, as colorful, but it's you know, a little more economical to start. And you're also going to have to find out where you want to put it. You don't want to put an aquarium near a window, near a vent, anything with sudden temperature changes because it'll too much shock for the fish. And you want to choose a tank, you want to um, pick pretty much the biggest tank you can afford, it's kind of small, <laughs> so it's going to be hard to take care of. Um, you got a basic size tank, 50, 70, 55, 75 gallons, it's a good size to start with. Um, you're going to want to set it up near outlets. Um, the bigger the tank, the easier it is going to be to take care of the fish. It'll be less the changes of the temperature will be less in uh, the pH. You can go strange if you'd like. <laughs> it all depends how much money you have. You can go <laughs> totally crazy, which if you have that much money, go for it. Yeah. This, this example is from a player who used to be in the Dolphins. With, I wouldn't feel too comfortable with that over my head. But <laughs> After you choose a tank, um, you're going to have to equip it. And basic things to equip a tank, you're going to need, of course, the tank and the thermometer. Um, an air pump, you're going to need a lid. Fish like to jump a lot, so depending on what kind you get. Uh, you're going to need a, uh, the lights for it. If you choose fresh water, the lights are pretty inexpensive, just use fluorescence. If you choose a salt water, those get a lot more expensive. Um, again, more expensive lights, <laughs> Sorry, I forget what kind they were. Um, then you get to pick the fish, your fish and your coral, if you get a, a salt water tank. Um, they're a lot more colorful. The coral under the lights look a lot better. Um, an example, a fresh, a fresh water tank, you can run you a basic 30 gallon, $270, while a salt water tank can run you up to 1000 so that's the biggest difference starting. And there's a for our freshwater tank. And adding fish, when you add fish, you have to take into account for salt water, what fish are compatible or not. Um, a lot of them, you don't want to spend all your money on fish and then have them eat each other. You know, that, that <laughs> happens quite often. Um, along with freshwater fish, the same thing, you have to take into account what can live happily with each other. Um, there's some saltwater fish that are a lot more colorful. They're also going to be a lot more expensive and a lot harder to take care of. They're uh, sensitive to, to changes in the salts and the pH. Freshwater fish, they're a little more forgiving, easier to take care of. And you can still get some cool looking um, freshwater fish. You can even get sharks and rays if you want for certain tanks if you have the room for it. Um, so you don't want to pick the wrong, the wrong fish for the tank will destroy it. I mean, the wrong fish is one. <laughs> so, you can, then you have to maintain the tank once you get everything up and running. You're going to have to buy chemicals, nets, um, test kits, all that type of stuff for your stores. Uh, stores can even do wa water tests for you. And then you have to do a lot of research because it gets confusing fast, especially if a fish gets sick or something happens and you don't know how to take care of them in it. And if you don't do your research, if you dive right in, that's just the wrong way to go. <laughs> in conclusion, if you do some of your research, uh, you can have a good tank and maintain it fairly easily.